God's word is powerful because it is a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasure of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. O stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you? before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain? If indeed it was in vain. Does then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Responsorial Psalm Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. 
and anyone who seeks finds, and the one who knocks the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <music>